She's taking over my channel. No, I'm not. Taking over my DIY. It'll be interesting to see how you explain this. I'm most looking forward to that. Hello, friends. Welcome back to another video. If you're new and not subscribed to my channel, I'm Caleb Fame, and you should really think about subscribing. You should really think about subscribing. Really think about subscribing. Think about it, subscribing. And you should think about subscribing to my channel because I heard great things happen when you do that. So, subscribe. This video is unexpected and I was not planning on posting this video today. Hence why I look like this. I'm doing a collaboration with my mom, the one, the only, Kelly Barlow Creations. Uh, we thought it would be funny if she posted a video on how to actually do the DIY and then I also posted my version of doing a voiceover for that same DIY. So that's what this video is. I hope you enjoy it. But let's just, what does she say? So let's just jump into it. Let's just jump into it. Let's just jump into it. <laughs> okay, so the two main ingredients for this crafting on a budget DIY is five wood stars and some wax paint. So the first step is we're gonna do a little snip snip to the rope on the top of the star so it is out of our way. Then we're gonna take some of the wax paint and only do the edges right now. If you want, you can wear gloves to not ruin your nails or you could just go in barehanded. It doesn't really matter that much, I promise. You also don't really have to worry about staying in the lines. As you can see, it doesn't have to be perfection. Just slab it on there, it'll be fine. Now we're gonna color in the rest of the star. Just go back and forth using both sides of the brushes like so. Nice, clean strokes. It's okay if you don't have enough paint. You can just put more on. See, it's running out there, but that's okay. I'm just gonna slab some more on in a second. Don't worry about drying time. You can just stick it in the oven. Whoa, that was a lot of paint. A pro tip as well, if you want to add some texture to it, you can just leave it to dry outside in the 50 mile an hour winds. Dirt will land on there and then it'll really look farmhouse. Now because we put way too much paint on in the last step, we have to take a paper towel and just wipe the excess paint off. This is totally normal, don't worry about it. Ta-da, it's dry now. Uh, she's saying there, no, don't do the back. You don't have to do the back, but you do have to remove the sticker. So now we're gonna take a small makeup brush and put more paint on the edge of the star to make it look like it's dirty because the dirtier it looks, the more farmhouse and rustic it looks. That's our motto here. And this is what it should look like when you're done. If it doesn't, you probably messed up. It's okay though because you have four more stars to try and get it right. As you can see, I did it on all four. So you're bound to get one of them right. Now this is really important. They have holes at the top. I repeat, there is holes at the top. So now we're going to put a, a lot of hot glue on the back of the, oh, we forgot to take the sticker off there. We missed a step, that's okay. We're gonna put a lot of hot glue on the back of the star. And when I mean a lot of hot glue, I mean you need to use a whole stick of hot glue or else it will not stick together. And as you can see here, there are holes still in the stars. Yep, and we're just gonna put it on top of the holes because we don't wanna fix it later. 
Again, we're gonna use another stick of hot glue even though we forgot the sticker again. We're just gonna use a whole stick of hot glue to make sure these bad boys aren't going anywhere. As you can see, I am just smothering it on the back of the star. Perfect in the center. And then you're gonna wanna find some metal generic sayings. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. Farmhouse was out of stock, so we're just gonna go with Happy Home today. And we're just gonna put more hot glue on these bad boys. Hot glue is my favorite tool to use for sticking things together. It, it works very effectively, especially when you use the whole jumbo stick to make it stick. I cannot stress this enough. The more glue, the better. So just slab it on there. We want it to stick. Now we are going to take some rope, hot glue it on there because hot glue is the number one tool for this DIY. If you don't have hot glue, I don't know what to tell you. This DIY probably isn't for you because we went through a whole bag of hot glue sticks with this one guys. So you're going to just hot glue the rope on here. Make sure there's a lot. We don't want the rope going anywhere. This is the foundation to our star sign. Okay, so now we are going to practice our knot making like we learned in the Scouts when we were younger. You're just going to tie a big old knot on there like so. That's a really nice knot that I did there. And then you're just going to cut it because we're going to need to do another knot here. Like I always say, practice makes perfect. You're going to make another knot and cut it off as well. And yes, you guessed it, we are using hot glue again to glue our knot stubs onto the top of the stars. This, we're gonna cover the holes. We got to cover the holes. This is the most important step. The holes gotta go. That's why I was stressing it so much in the beginning. As for the hole on the top, you can see it there. We're just gonna shove some Play-Doh in there to really uh, fill the hole. White Play-Doh, as you can see, we have a whole tub there. And because I went a little bit overboard on filling the Play-Doh in, I, I have to take a sponge and wipe the excess Play-Doh off, but that's okay. Again, this is normal. If you don't have a big enough paintbrush, that's okay. Just use a Q-tip and color in the white Play-Doh. And wow, would you look at that? Our beautiful happy home sign, 4th of July. It doesn't really have to be 4th of July. It's super rustic, happy home, stars. This was a great DIY if I do say so myself. You should definitely try making it. It was a great process. All right, so that was a video. Um, that's it for this week's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up because I tried really hard to explain this DIY. Went into a lot of detail. So, you know, thumbs up for the effort, am I right? But uh, if you actually want to know how to do the DIY, I will also link my mom's video in the description below, even though you all are probably coming from her channel. So, <laughs> welcome. But that's it for this week's video. I'll see you back here next week. Peace.